Welcome to the Core Report. I'm Corporal Ali Weiswinger. And I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Filipovich. The Corps plans to establish a Marine Air Ground Task Force of 2,500 service members in Darwin by 2016. Last week, the second phase of about 1,150 Marines headed to Australia for a six-month rotational deployment. An aviation combat element with four Super Stallions will be participating in the exercise for the first time. Along with keeping the bond with our Aussie allies, Marines will be participating in exercises in New Zealand and the southern frontier in Australia. This episode's featured Marine has been called a lifesaver and a hero, but he insists he was just at the right place at the right time. Sergeant Matthew Sullivan was driving to his recruiting office in Beaufort, Georgia, when he spotted a truck engulfed in flames. He ran to help the driver, who was also on fire. After instructing the driver to stop, drop, and roll, Sullivan carried the man to safety before the truck exploded. The Marine had this to say about the incident. I know, you know, in the Marine Corps, man, you, 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 you just taught certain things, and you train, and you train repetitively. And the reason why you do that is because so things can become second nature to you. Reacting can get you killed, but acting is always a, a lifesaver. Most accidents on the road can be avoided, and since we're coming out of harsh winter weather, the roads may be slippery. While you're cruising the freeway, don't forget to exercise driver safety. Did you just like my status? What? If you're on the phone, who's driving? On a serious note though, the Corps saw more deaths due to car accidents than combat last year. We remind you to drive safely year-round. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites. Those links are in the video description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next payday. Right here on the Core Report.